So the game I'm playing today is called Sonic Crackers for the Sega Genesis. The title could be construed as offensive depending on how you look at it, but this is an interesting specimen of a Sonic game for many reasons. The main reason being that it was never officially released. This is actually an early prototype of another Sonic game that doesn't even feature Sonic in it. That game, of course, is Knuckles Chaotix, which was released for the ill-fated Sega 32X, which was an add-on for the Genesis that came out sometime in, I think, 1995. I know the game came out in 95. I'm not sure if the 32X came out the same year, though. But either way, Sonic Crackers was meant to be an early version of Knuckles Chaotix, mainly to test out various features that would later be included in the full game. One of those features being the primary gimmick of Knuckles Chaotix, in which you control two characters in one level, and they're binded together by these two rings that they're holding in one hand. Each character is holding one ring each in their own hand. I should clarify that. They're not holding onto, like, one ring together. If one character pulled too far away from the other, they would get pulled back towards the other character because it, it kind of acted like a rubber band. Needless to say, the physics on it were pretty wonky, and Sonic Crackers, it's even worse, mostly because this prototype was never finished. So you're probably wondering how exactly I got my hands on this game if it was never officially released. Well, sometime in 2008, a person by the name of DRX, that's their username, had acquired numerous prototypes of various Sega titles, most of them being Sonic games, and they, because I'm unsure as to whether or not they're male or female, their identity is unknown, and I think it's better if we just keep it that way. But basically, on February 23rd, 2008, DRX released all of these prototypes to the public. They're available to download on various websites, which I'm not going to link to in the description. You can just go and find them yourself. And one prototype in particular that caught a lot of people's attention at the time was Sonic Crackers. Now, Sonic Crackers, as I mentioned before, before is believed to be an early prototype of Knuckles Chaotix, which it is. A lot of people were unsure at first, because as you can see, the build date on the title screen here is marked April 1st, 1994, which led some people to believe that this might have just been some sort of April Fool's joke, that it was actually a ROM hack. But it was later confirmed that the prototype was real, because DRX had also released a handful of Knuckles Chaotix prototypes too, and the release of the Chaotix prototypes in particular had pretty much busted that theory. This was actually one of the earliest games I had ever covered on my channel. If you don't remember, which you most likely don't because I played this like many, many years ago, I had originally uploaded a video of this game all the way back in February of 2012. So this was one of the earliest videos I had ever put up on my channel, and I wanted to revisit Sonic Crackers mainly because that video sucked, and I just wanted to try and cover it a lot better because I know a lot more about the ROM now than I did back then, so I feel like it deserves a second chance. There's not a whole lot to go over regarding this prototype, though, because, for one thing, this prototype does not have that much content in it, because it was just meant to test a couple of features out, namely the ring-binding mechanic and controlling two players in the same level, but there's not that much else to do in the prototype beyond that. Right, so let's get this show on the road, then. So you have, uh, the main menu right here. It's a pretty basic main menu. It's in, like, some sort of ASCII art style. Not really sure what that's all about, but it's spelling out the logo, Sonic Crackers. Sonic has a nice little uh, shadow, and it's also in italic for some reason. You got one player start and two player start, which are identical to each other because there is no real two player mode. Option and select I'll show later on. For now, let's try getting into the, uh, the, the meat of this game, if you will. So go to one player start, and uh, already you can see that things are wrong because the title card is, well, there is no title card. Also, the game is not frozen, you just have to press the start button and it'll actually go to the level here. So, this track right here, I believe, is supposed to be an early version of one of the tracks that would later appear in Knuckles Chaotix. I do need to inform you guys, though, that my knowledge of Knuckles Chaotix is very minimal, because I've never actually played it before. Most of the knowledge I have regarding Knuckles Chaotix actually comes from Sonic Crackers, and a bunch of stuff that I read up regarding the various prototypes that were released, including Crackers. So this is the only Knuckles Chaotix prototype where you actually control Sonic and Tails. So they're holding rings, and they are binding together. See that little trail of light right here? So if Sonic uh, moves too far away, um, well, yeah, there, there you go. So he can just uh, kind of jump away from Tails, and Tails doesn't follow him. I don't think Tails has, like, any real AI built into him. Either that or his AI is just, like, incredibly broken. But if I jump away from Sonic, as you can see, he can't really get away because... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, this, this kind of dumb, dumb stuff happens. Yeah, f physics are very broken, but 
Like, it basically acts like a rubber band. If Sonic goes too far, Tails will either get, get pulled in towards him, like if Tails is in the back, he'll just get launched forward, and if Sonic's in the back, he'll get launched forward, so it's, it's, it's really strange. The physics are even wonkier here because, you know, it's not even, like, finished. You can also duck, you do have a spin dash ability, which kind of works, but it doesn't give you, like, a gigantic burst of speed or anything. Also, if you press the pause button, you have an incomplete pause screen right here, but you also have the ability to move around the stage. For some reason, Sonic's arms don't follow him when you're moving around like this, though. They just kind of remain stationary, and it's, uh, it's terrifying. Same thing happens with Tails. But while you're on the pause menu, you can use the D-pad to just move around. You can place Sonic and Tails anywhere on the level, so I assume this was meant as some sort of debugging feature, if I had to guess. I mean, that's the only explanation I can think of as to why that's still in the game. So, I, I also believe that this is supposed to be one of the, uh, like an early version of one of the, uh, Knuckles Chaotix levels, too. There's about five different levels in Sonic Crackers, four of which are literally this level, but just with a different color palette. Also, slopes don't work correctly in this game. As you can see, well, well if, if Tails didn't fall there, uh, yeah, as you can see, we can just stand upside down on slopes right here. Who cares about gravity, right? We, we don't need gravity here. Yeah, it's basically like, like Sonic 06 slope physics. You know how in Sonic 06 you can actually stand upside down within a loop and you won't fall off of it? Yeah, well, Sonic Crackers is, is basically like that, except it's it looks a lot more awkward because there is no uh, sprite for Sonic standing upside down. You'll also notice that we have a timer up there. Something is actually about to happen in about 10 seconds, which you're gonna see in just a moment. You also have a rings counter, but the funny thing is that there are no rings to collect. The levels are just completely absent of rings, and also enemies. There's only like one hazard in this level in particular, which is uh, a pair of spikes, which you can get hurt by, but it doesn't kill you, and despite the fact that you have zero rings, rings will still fly out of Sonic anyway, and you can't pick them up. Like I said, this game is very incomplete, but as you saw right there, the time limit hit three minutes, it played the game over jingle, and now we've been taken to an incomplete field level. So we can just kind of move around. This field level has no collision whatsoever, so slopes don't work, the water doesn't work either. We can just kind of go off this cliff right here, we can just kind of float above. It has a nice little rainbow right there, a rainbow consisting of just red, green, and yellow, so not even not even the graphics appear to have been completed here. So you can go off the screen, you just end up appearing on the other side here though, as you can see. Something interesting does happen if you move diagonally. If you move diagonally like this, of course, Sonic and Tails will loop back around, but for some reason, if you move in this fashion, the camera no longer follows you. So it just, it just remains stationary, which I didn't actually know you could do before when I originally played this. So there's not really anything special here except for the music, which again, I, I believe all the music is just like earlier versions of Knuckles' Chaotix themes. Also, for some reason, Tails loses his tails when he's standing still. I also never noticed that. Yeah, he only has his tails when he's walking. That's bizarre. No, I'm not comfortable with that. Get me out of here, please. So, if you want to go back to a level, what you do is that you pause by pressing uh, the start button, of course, and then you just press A, and it'll take you to the next level. Uh, the music does not change at all. So this is the other type of level that is in the game right here. I'm not entirely sure what this stage is exactly, but this is one where you can actually move pretty damn quickly right here, as you can see. Good classic platforming action. Also, Sonic just randomly falls through platforms in this level, and I'm not really sure why. It's like his collision just completely breaks. Oh yeah, and then and then stuff like this happens. Sonic rebounds, and then he just gets launched like 50 feet into the air. Okay, yeah, and, and then we just kind of like fall through the level, and uh... <laughs> what is... <laughs> Yeah, we just, we just kind of stand on invisible platforms. I mean, we can save ourselves, because, you know, we can just pause the game and get out of it. It seems like Sonic's collision is just completely broken now, because he's just falling through everything. Sonic, please. I think he's entered- he's, he's entering another dimension. Oh my god, what is happening right now? Stop. Holy crap. Ca relax yourself. Okay, yeah, Sonic's- Sonic's, like, broken. Can I- can I get him to return back to normal? I don't think I can. I think he's just completely broken. I mean, this level's not exactly, uh, functional either. 
Again, there's more, there's more slopes that you can just hang upside down on. This level doesn't have an ending, it just loops around on itself, and the collision detection is supposed to get more and more broken as the level keeps looping around, and eventually, if you get far enough, you'll start seeing random platforms appear on the bottom of the screen. And also, like the previous level, when the timer reaches a certain point, it will play the game over jingle and it'll take you back to another field level. Yeah, right over here. So we just have random platforms over here, which are, I, I believe, supposed to be comprised of mostly garbage data. It's basically the game taking data from random locations in the memory and it's causing stuff like this to appear at the bottom. So we get to one minute, and as you can see, the level just ends. Now, for the record, it's not possible to die in Sonic Crackers, because there's no lives counter, and when you fall off a stage, you don't actually die. Sonic just kind of gets stuck. Either that, or he just gets rebounded upwards, because physics and all that jazz. But there is a second field level here that it does take you to, which looks uh, a, a lot more mechanical, looks, looks a lot more cyberpunk. Not a whole lot of stuff to see here, though, because again, the field levels are not functional. All you can do is just walk around in them, and that's pretty much it. That's the only purpose that they have. So then you go back to uh, the first level that we were in before. We are actually going to return to it. So as you can see, I, I do believe we have a, a different palette color here now. I, I think it does just change the palette colors at complete random. I, I remember reading somewhere that the palette color it changes depends on where you decided to enter the level on the, the field, but I'm not entirely sure how valid that claim is because it just seems to randomize the palette. But either way, if it does load a different palette, it also loads a different music track. Again, the music is all the same as well, it's just four different variants of the exact same track. I think this is supposed to be like an early version of a day and night cycle that I believe was included in Knuckles Chaotix. So they already had this planned out for the final game, also there is some weird, like, uh, per perspective glitches going on right here. When Sonic is aligned like this, it looks like he's standing behind the fence right here, or standing behind the guardrail, but when he's looking to the left, it looks like he's standing in front of it. But it, that doesn't happen for Tails at all. Or, or does it? Is it just this one in particular? No, it, it's only, it, it only does it for Sonic, okay? That's, that's really odd. Oh, now it just looks like he's standing in front of it at all times. Wait, what? Okay, that's- that's just straight. I mean, I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised. Also, by the way, if you don't hear any sound effects playing at all and just music, that's because there are no sound effects. They had no sound effects programmed into the game at this time, so it's just completely silent aside from the music. That's all that play is. Also, you can't pick up Tails, much like in Knuckles Chaotix. You can throw into higher platforms. This is pretty much how you- how you get to higher places, otherwise the physics are just gonna go crazy. Because as you can see, Tails does not jump whenever Sonic jumps. That is his normal behavior in other Sonic games, but here, Tails has like no AI programmed into him, or at least not very intelligent AI. The only thing he's really programmed to do is just follow Sonic around. Also, for some reason, the line that connects the two rings together becomes glitched when you pause the game. Not really sure what's going on there, like the sprites become just a garbled mess. Also, because the collision doesn't work correctly, you can sometimes throw Tails into a wall and he'll get stuck in it. That doesn't work all the time, though. Yeah, so that's not working at all. What is kind of interesting, though, is that when, when you have about 30 seconds remaining, that's when the Time Attack logo up there, or the Time Attack message, will start flickering, or it'll start flashing red and yellow. Also, grabbing Tails and throwing him is kind of broken in this prototype, because sometimes it'll actually look like Tails is picking up Sonic, so sometimes it just it can just freak out in that fashion too. Now this level in particular technically has an ending. What you have to do is that you're supposed to go all the way to the top of the level. This is the top right up here with all the clouds. However, if you decide to spawn Sonic and Tails right here, the level just ends. It also displays these glitch tiles right down here. Sometimes they will display uh, numbers right over here instead of just garbled tiles, or at least I had one instance where it did that to me off screen. Right, let's see if I can break this level in other ways. I mean, I can... Never mind, I already just... <laughs> I already just broke it. Yeah, I, I, I believe that is one of the main issues with this stage in particular. Like, th the collision in this stage barely functions properly at all. Oh god, what is happening right now? Okay, Sonic just left the screen. What? Wait, where's Tails? Okay, Tails... Tails got, like, stuck in the air for a moment. Well, I can kind of still move. Oh god, Ta Tails is just going berserk now. Hang on a second. Whoa, hello. Hello. 
Yeah, Sonic's collision, like, doesn't work at all in this stage. And the collision is supposed to worsen over time. As you constantly loop through the level, it's just supposed to break more and more until eventually it's it's just not even playable. Also, as far as I know, there is no way to move faster when you have the game paused and you're just moving Sonic and Tails around like this. So this is pretty much the speed you're stuck at while you're moving Sonic t and Tails around here. I mean, there really <laughs> there really is nothing else that we can we can do in this level. Like, it, like it's incomplete. There's no goal post that we can pass through, and because it just loops on itself, the only way we can exit out of it is by waiting for the time limit to run out. Here, let me try standing on these glitch tiles again. I do want to go back to, uh, the, the main level, though, the first level that we completed, so I can show off how the spikes work. Okay, yeah. Let's, let's just pass through solid geometry. Yeah, no, no issue with that. No issue with that at all. Tails just, like, threw me through that ramp. 100% accurate hit detection, too. Very nice. Very good indeed. You've done well with this one, Sega. I mean, to be honest, I can't really be that mad at this game, because like I said, this was an early version of Knuckles Chaotix. This was only meant to test out certain features, and Sega didn't even officially release this, but someone managed to get their hands on an early prototype of this about 10 years ago. They decided to dump the ROM file, and now it's, it's available to everyone who has an internet connection. All you need is an emulator to play it. But still, even though it's mostly incomplete, and to be honest, not fun in the slightest due to the fact that it's incomplete, it, it's still interesting to see how the game looked at an earlier point in its development. Of course, Sonic and Tails would later be taken out, because the playable characters in Knuckles Chaotix were Knuckles, of course, but Sonic and Tails were replaced with the likes of SPO, Charmy, Vector, and Mighty. Speaking of which, Mighty just got announced as a playable character for Sonic Mania Plus. I was kind of thinking about making a video of Knuckles Chaotix because of that, but Knuckles Chaotix is not the first game that Mighty appeared in. He actually first appeared in an older Sonic game that only got released in Japanese arcades back in 1993. It's a pretty obscure arcade game, but it was going to be featured on Sonic Gems collection at one point, but they decided to leave it out of the final game, mostly because they had problems emulating the game's incredibly bizarre controls. Maybe I'll actually make a video of it so I can talk about it more in depth. Perhaps, just because that was announced recently, so I thought, maybe, maybe, perhaps. I mean, there's at least two other Sonic games that I would like to play after this. I mean, of course, I, I, do, I did want to uh, revisit Sonic Crackers, but I was also thinking of playing that other, like, arcade Sonic game that came out in 1993. I was also thinking about playing the Game Gear port of Sonic 1, because I mentioned before that Sonic Adventure DX had all of these, uh unlockable Game Gear titles that you could get by collecting a certain number of emblems, and the Game Gear port of Sonic 1 was playable on that, and I have some pretty fond memories of that. I especially love the soundtrack of the Game Gear port in particular. Okay, actually, you just saw the glitch right there, guys. Remember when I said that sometimes it looks like Tails is holding on to Sonic? Well, I, I just triggered it, actually. Hang on a second, let's see if I can recreate that. Okay, well, why, did I, why was I letting go of Tails? Wait, hang on, hang on. I wanna, I wanna try and, and and see if I can get that again. Okay, wait. Why do I, why do I just keep letting go of tails? Could you, could you come over here, please? No, stop running away from me. Be my guinea pig, tails. Here, I'm trying, I'm trying to get something to happen. Okay, why is this not working now? I got it there before. Okay, for some reason I can't seem to re-trigger it now, guys. But you might have been able to see it for like a, a split second. It looked like tails was holding on to me. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll like s slow it down when I get to editing the video. Whoa! When I'm walking up this slope right here. Sonic's arms are attached to his face. Yep, his his arm is going directly into his eye socket. Wow, this is... Oh, good. Yeah, we can... The spring doesn't even work. The spring doesn't even work. This is a well-programmed video game. Well-programmed game right here. Thrown through a wall. Yeah, there we go. He just kind of teleports over it. Then you can get some height. There we go. Okay, whoa. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Yeah, the slopes are, like, sticky. But yeah, as I was saying, I really do want to play the Game Gear port of Sonic 1, because I have some really fond memories of that. I personally like the soundtrack of the Game Gear version a lot better than the Genesis port. That's probably a very unpopular opinion that I'm gonna get lambasted for, but that's just me. I especially love the Bridge Zone music in particular, so I have to try playing that on my channel at some point. Also, by the way, the arcade Sonic game I'm talking about is Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, it, it's, it's a very, very oddly named, but it, it's basically Sonic. Sonic, except it's almost impossible. I'll play it at some point. So yeah, you got these spikes right here. You hit them, they hurt Sonic, rings fly out of him despite the fact that he has zero rings, and you can't actually die from them. Tails can also get hit by them too. He drops rings as well, but again, he can't be killed. I mean, he's controlled by AI anyway, so he can't die regardless. 
but you can't pick up the rings, so th there's no way to actually fill your ring count. And I'm not sure why it says out of a hundred, because there's zero rings in each level. So that's, that's, that's just a blatant lie. Oh my god. What exactly did I do here now? I looped on the top of the screen, and now I'm... I'm just floating, and I'm visible? Oh, okay. No, we're, we're back. I guess we were just, like, incredibly high. Wait a second. Whoa! Alright. Yep. Good physics. Good physics. Now, now where the hell are we? We, like, glitch into a block. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect, perfect physics. Here, Tails, you can escape. You can probably escape, can't you? Here, I want to I wanna try and reactivate that glitch here. Wait, why does the background scroll upwards whenever Sonic jumps, even though Tails is not jumping? What is going on with this game right now? This is... I'm, I'm not even sure what to say at this point. Hang on a second. Okay, now Tails' collision is broken. Oh god, Tails, please. I, I wanna I wanna try I wanna try the glitch with you again. I wanna see if I can get it to work. Come on. You know what? It would just be a lot easier to reset the game and to just go back to the, the first level. Yeah, by the way, this game is supposed to be able to run on real hardware. The only thing is that it crashes if you don't skip the uh the intro quick enough. Because you know how in, in most of uh Sega's Genesis titles, there's this giant Sega logo that, that animates at the very beginning before the actual game boots up. But according to what I've read, the Sega logo will cause the game to crash if you don't skip it quick enough. And also, if you stay on the title screen for too long, that too will cause it to crash. But other than that, the game is capable of running on real hardware. Apparently, someone was able to accomplish it. Tails, stop stop running away from me, please. I want to try and, and, and do this glitch. Let me do the glitch, please. Let's see if I can get it to work. What did I even do here? Okay. <laughs> I mean, at least we're getting some height, getting some nice boosts up here. I'm not even sure if this, if this stage is beatable by normal standards. I mean, I know I'm supposed to get to the top... But the final slopes have this- have th the spikes on top of them, though, and because the slopes don't work correctly, you actually end up getting stuck on the spikes. It just kills all your vertical momentum, so I don't think this is actually beatable, this stage. I think it's just impossible. And besides, there's- there's nothing for you to see at the top anyway, because the level just ends immediately and it takes you to a- a field level. It doesn't award you with anything. Stop running away from me, for goodness sakes. I also don't understand why he just stops moving whenever Sonic jumps. Okay, well, Tails is just gone now. Yep, there we go. I sent- I sent him through the wall. Now he's just gone. Sonic is struggling hard to escape. But now- now he's just chained to the wall. He's an eternal prisoner in this limbo-like world that seemingly has no end to it. Well, I can bring him back. There we go. Got him back. Hang on a second. I want to- I want to see if I can- if I can- Okay, that- that's just causing him to get- to get flung through the wall, so that's- that's not working. That's not working at all. What is even happening right now? Oh, good moonwalking right there. Wait, I can still- I can still move around while I'm still holding on the tails. That causes me to drop him. Okay, well, I have no idea how- how I got the glitch to occur before. Oh yeah, sometimes when the level ends, Tails' sprites will just break completely. Now he's just a jumbled mess of corruption. Come here, oh my god. Really, physics breaks just immediately. Are you kidding me right now? I mean, should I consider myself lucky the first time because the physics didn't break before? Oh my lord. Yeah, see, that's the weird thing though, because it's like Tails gets stuck in the air, so I'm not sure if maybe he's like... He's like clipping through the top and winding up at the bottom, like the level vertically wraps, and that's what Tails is getting stuck on? I have no clue what's happening. This level is designed so bizarrely too, because there's just like random science that are floating below the level, and there's seemingly no purpose for them being there. Like, there's just random objects placed in, like, really odd locations, and I don't- I don't get it at all. I want to see if this does have an ending, though, because I do know that if I loop this enough times, then it's gonna start inserting all sorts of- of random platforms at the bottom, but I want to see how far I can actually get with this. Does this end eventually? Or does it get to the point where the game just, like, says, screw it, and- and kills itself? I'm basically just swimming through the garbage data right now. See if I can get up this slope. Maybe I can- Okay, well, I was hoping that maybe I could- I could do something with Tails there, but I guess that's not gonna work. Whoa, okay. We just- we just turn into, a uh, an orbiting binary system there for a moment. That was cool. Oh yeah, we just have this random pit that we can kind of land on. I mean, Tails can land on it, Sonic can't, apparently. Also, what even is this animation right here? I wonder if these are like, like... Okay, these are definitely not complete animations because something weird is going on with Sonic's arm. I mean, there is a glitched character in Knuckles Chaotix that you can access via debug mode. It doesn't have an actual name, and it mostly just crashes the- Oh god, what did I do? Oh boy. 
I think I found the point. I think I entered the point of no return, guys. Hang on a second. What happened? Where am I? Oh, boy. Oh, what is happening? I think I just, like, warped. Oh, yeah, we're warping. We're warping, guys. Where to exactly? Can I land on this? Tell me I can land on this. Yeah, I can, but I'm, like, invisible now. Okay, yeah. The, the level's geometry just completely broke, so I, I think I pretty much got to the end of the the end of the stage. As I was saying, there was a glitch character in Knuckles Chaotix, and a lot of people thought that it might have been Tails, because normally it crashes the game, but if you can, like, hack the game in some way that, that it doesn't crash, you get this garbled up sprite that is, like, whitish in color. It seems to use Knuckles as sprites, but they're completely broken, the palette color is incorrect, but apparently this character can fly, which is why a lot of people presumed that it was Tails, so it could have been a leftover remnant from Sonic Crackers, but the only thing is that I don't think Tails can fly in Sonic Crackers. You can clearly see him in this prototype, but like I said, Tails is not intelligent at all. His AI barely even works correctly. Yep, just completely broken. Oh my god, is the level like upside down now? Almost lo looks like it is. Or maybe that's just the weird placement of, of the science. Okay, well, I, I made it to the end at least. It just it just breaks after a while, so there you go. Yeah, so other than that, there's not really anything else to see here, guys. I mean, that's that's Sonic Crackers. That's, that's pretty much the whole game. Just this very old and incomplete prototype of Knuckles Chaotix. Not really even that much to do here. And just kind of mess around with the pause feature. And break the game in various ways. But other than that, there's really nothing else to do. It was just meant to be an early prototype, testing out some early features. This is, of course, the game that would later become Knuckles Chaotix, because this feature in particular, with, with the rings, this would be carried over. But as you can tell, the game at this point was in a very early stage of development. Nothing works correctly. The physics, the slopes, there's no enemies, no rings. The one hazard in the game, or the one hazard type, which are the spikes, of course, those can't even hurt you. And for some reason, rings fly out of you, despite the fact that you, you can't collect any rings in this level. Okay, I just got Sonic stuck in midair now. Uh, can I fix that? Oh no. I couldn't fix that. I can't fix that, I should be saying. Wow. Well, there you go, guys. Like I said, unfinished game. I got Sonic permanently stuck in the air. Incredible. Tails, can you help me out with this, please? Oh, I can still kind of control Tails here. Oh wait, no, maybe maybe I can actually control Tails. Oh yeah, I can I can definitely control him with the D-pad. But it's like I can't can I not make him jump? No, I can't I can't make him jump. Oh, but I can make him look up though. Oh, what is this? Okay, yeah, he was kind of like headbanging for a moment, but okay, no. I have some control over Tails, I just can't make him jump. Yeah, there you go, guys. I'm not even sure how I accomplished this, but I, I'm stuck. I'm, I'm stuck in the air. Sonic is just rolling around in the air. There's nothing I can do about it. He's he's trapped. And Tails just doesn't seem to care at all. Very good level indeed. Maybe I'll use this as the thumbnail. I have no idea. But I mean, it looks funny enough, so perhaps, who knows. Yeah, I, I seriously can't fix it. I'm not even sure what I did. Okay, well, that's cool and all, but I'm going to uh, quickly restart the game here just to show you some of the other options that uh, I presented to you guys on the title screen right here. So I want to quickly go to two-player start. What this will do is uh, absolutely nothing because it just loads up the regular one-player option. So, you, you don't have control over the second player. Well, I mean, you do have control over Tails, of course. Yeah, sometimes even Tails moonwalks. I have no idea why that happens. Player 2 can't do anything, as far as I'm aware. Then you also have Option. Option is just a simple sound test. And actually, most of the sounds don't even work. Mainly because, well, like I said, there's no sound effects at all. There's just the music. You can listen to some of the music here, though. From 81 to uh, 86, I believe, is where the music is located. Then 87, it just disables everything, 87 and beyond. However, you can just keep on going for some reason, and eventually after a while, there's one value you'll be able to enable that just completely breaks the game's sound altogether. I'm gonna see if I can actually enable it, but just a warning beforehand, uh, turn your volume down before I do this, cause it makes a really loud buzzing noise that will definitely make your ears bleed. And what it does is that it replaces the entire game's sound with this loud buzzing noise, so not even the music works anymore. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, this is actually not the exact sound that I got, but if you go to the higher values while there's something in the background playing, then, yeah, it just breaks the entire audio, the entire game's audio. And now, 
the entire game soundtrack is just replaced with this with this with this sensor beep. This 1000 hertz sine wave. Enjoy it. It's very calming. So that's the only real purpose of the option menu right here. If you want to listen to some some two wins like the six two wins that are available in this game, and if you want to just completely break the game's audio, then you can do that too. Doesn't always seem to have the same effect because this time it just completely muted the game audio. Also, for some reason, whenever I pause the game in this level, there's this black bar that appears on the left side of the screen. Not really sure what that's all about because that doesn't occur in the other level. There we go. That's the beep I was looking for. Perfect. Fantastic. Now my ears are dying. Best music. Best music. Oh, okay. I see. When you hold down the A button, then Tails doesn't doesn't move at all. Oh, all right. I understand. So I hold it down while he's not moving. Oh yeah, because I can I can get in the freeze in place. Okay, so that's what that's used for. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this noise because I know it's just it's just annoying. Last but not least, you have select, which is well a world select option. If you try to select anything beyond world two, I believe what it'll do is that it'll load the stage at first, but then it'll end it immediately because I mean there's no data for this at all. Like if I go to world six attraction level four, loads at first, but then it just ends immediately because there's there's no data for this. There's no data for a world six level four in the game, so then it just takes you back to the uh to the field. Also I'm not entirely sure what this is. What is premium one? Okay, well, I guess I'll never know, because that apparently doesn't work either. So I'm not entirely sure what this would have ended up becoming, because Premium 2 doesn't work. What about the special stage? Uh, that just broke the entire game, because it's it's frozen. So I guess I'll never know. Yeah, it's it's just, it just freezes. It just locks up the controls. Well, in that case, I think we're done here, guys, because that's Sonic Crackers. That's all I wanted to show, and that's all there is to see anyway, so... Just a very bare-bones prototype. This was what Knuckles Chaotix originally was before it became an actual game. Still very early on in its life at the time. And I assume this version was made just to test out the, uh, the ring-binding mechanic in particular. But other than that, there's not much to it at all. Just got two different levels. One level has, like, four variants of it. But all that changes is the color palette and the music. And all the music tracks are just variants of the exact same song. No way to beat most of those levels. Got a non-functional two-player option. Option, got a very bare bones sound test that you can completely break the game's sound engine with, and you have a level select featuring levels that don't even exist, including a non-existent special stage that freezes the game when you try to select it. So I guess the only real way you can play this game is for educational purposes. I mean, you can't beat the game because it wasn't finished at the time. There's no way to beat any of the levels, and all the levels end automatically after a few minutes anyway. But feel free to check it out in case you're interested as to what Knuckles Chaotix used to look like at an earlier point in its development. Give yourself a chance to explore one of its previous incarnations, but don't expect too much out of it. Like, it's it's not complete, everything is broken, nothing functions correctly at all. Play the game to educate yourself on the history of Knuckles Chaotix's development. Don't play it expecting great platforming gameplay because there's none of that in here. It isn't even a game, really. I mean, th there is no game here. It's a tech demo, if anything, and a very malfunctional tech demo at that. Again, I'm not gonna provide a link in the description, just go find it for yourself. I mean, there's a bunch of Sonic fan sites that are hosting the old Sonic prototypes, and I know that Sega had never officially released these prototypes, because most game developers don't normally release prototypes of their games to the public. I mean, there are exceptions, of course. One recent exception was Volition, because they had released an early prototype version of Saints Row Undercover, which ultimately never ended up getting released, because it was scrapped very early in development. And I played that on my channel before, and we all got to see just how much of a technological anomaly that was. So I'm not sure if downloading these prototypes could really be considered piracy, but, you know, I'm still not sure, so maybe just go and find them on your own. I'm not willing to take any risks. And yeah, that's Sonic Crackers for you. I don't really have anything to say about it. Play it to be educated rather than entertained, because chances are you're probably gonna end up getting, like, maybe at most five minutes of entertainment out of this, and most of the entertainment is gonna come from the numerous graphical and physics oddities associated with this game. Honestly, you're just better off playing Knuckles Chaotix. Thank you guys for watching, as always. I'll see you in the next video I make. Later!